So it's a very strange situation, but, um, you know, collabor- the, these, these class of technologies, which you're characterizing or started to characterize at least as collaboration tools, they're really not about collaboration per se. They're about communication. They're about coordination. Um, and, and it's clear that people need to do that. And then, the, the, once again, the subversive part is that they have, you know, this social dimension, right, which is the part that, once again, is, you know, uh, disruptive. Uh, the fact that, you know, people in the organization can start to saying, well, here are the people I'm going to follow because I think what they talk about makes sense. And if you can start having that kind of open discourse in a business and where interesting and, uh, you know, critically important stuff starts to rise inside of these tools first, if people start to rely on it as the sort of the bloodstream of the business where everything important happens first, then you will have a profound shift. And it shifts just like, it shifts in the small inside the business just like things shifted in the open web. Um, where Because people shifted to the place where the tempo was fastest, um, that means they were spending time there instead of somewhere else. And so the old communication, which is, was aligned with, the old forms of communication were aligned with the previous power structure, means that, you know, when you shift to a new communication structure, um, the power power structure changes as well. And uh, why did my light, my monitor time out? That's very odd. <laughs> um, I guess because I didn't hit a keystroke or something. So, um, so you know, I mean, that that's frightening. It's, uh, potentially, you know, causes some concern on the part of of management because mm. they don't they don't necessarily want a uh, completely different power structure.